Hey guys, this is Typhoon from AICodeJournal.com and this is going to be a quick video on an article that I wrote on the topic of whether teachers can tell or, or not if you've used ChatGPT. The question is pretty important for students right now because they want to be using ChatGPT. They want to do their homework faster and just do whatever that they're doing, TikTok or hang out with their friends more instead of wasting time with homework. So, can teachers tell when you use ChatGPT? Um, yes and no. It really depends on how you do it. And I'm going to give you a couple of tips here to actually bypass the detection. It's up to you to try them and do them or not. Now, one thing that I would like to note down is that there are a lot of false positives going on. So, the tools that the teachers are using are not really that good. There are some good ones I've heard, but most of them are pretty pretty shit. So you can see here GPT-0 detecting the US Constitution as written by AI. And um, there are numerous cases of people who haven't even heard of these GPT things and getting an email from their professor saying that, hey, you've been dishonest, you've been using AI and this so on and so forth. And the reason for it is because these tools are not really, they do not really have a database of all the AI generated content and they're just mixing and matching it with what you your professor has pasted into their window. They are kind of trying to detect the word patterns used and the center structure. And if it's very common for an AI to speak that way, then you are basically out of luck because you speak like an AI and you're going to be detected <laughs> or you write like an AI and you're going to be detected like an AI. Um, so there are cases like these and it's a pretty hard situation for the teachers too because they don't really know how to navigate this. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips here on how to bypass AI detection. And they're pretty simple, right? There are, some of them are, I would say, um, common sense, right? You get the text from, a, from the AI, edit the text. You can edit it a little bit or you can, I would suggest, edit it excessively. Just change the wording, rewrite some sections of it so it sounds more like you or just rewrite some sections of it and then just test it to see if it's detected as AI and you can submit it. The better option is you rewrite the whole text. In this case, for sure, it's not going to be detected as AI. And at the same time, you get to learn something, right? You go through the whole text, you write it, and it's knowledge. So good, good. Win-win. And uh, the third one, this one needs a little bit of like work on your part. Prompt the AI in such a way that generates text that's not gener detected by AI detectors. So again, a little bit earlier, I said the AI detectors use the wording so it's very common word pairs or it's very common sentence structure let's say 10 or 20 words inside a sentence and so on then they're going to detect it they're going to say this is AI generated so what you can request is write it using uncommon wording write using uncommon sentence structure so on and so forth unfortunately this generates really weird text so you gotta really play around with it and um, prompt the AI for your specific case. You can use this. It's not going to be detected as AI generated, but your professor or your teacher will realize you didn't write it because it's very weird. It itself doesn't sound like natural English. So what do you do? Well, you can use it, but play around with it. Play around with your request so it actually sounds okay, but at the same time, it's not detected. And the fourth one, I do like it. I do like this one because this way you get natural sounding text and at the same time you don't really do the writing yourself. So what you can re do is just request the text as you would normally, test if it's detected as AI generated, and then then you tell ChatGPT to rewrite the text with subtle changes and then test it again. And if it still looks AI generated, resubmit it to ChatGPT and ask for subtle changes. So this way the changes are going to be subtle, not going to sound so weird, and at the same time, you don't really do the rewriting yourself. Chat GPT basically rewrites it. And the last one, this is my favorite, feed the AI text which you're writing and ask to write the assignment in that style. So basically, you have, hopefully, if you do have a couple of Word documents with your own writing, maybe past assignments or whatever that you were doing there, you just copy and paste it into the window of ChatGPT, ask it to learn this style of writing, and then request 
the assignment from it and ask it to write in that style that it just learned. And then it's going to sound like you. It's going to use your sentence structure. It's going to use the way that you use words. And it's not going to be AI detected. So that's, this one is my favorite. This works if you have some sort of text of your own. So you can save a little bit of time here, right? This is pretty much it on the methods themselves. It's up to you to decide if you do really want to do it because if it's detected as AI generated, well, each school or university have, will have their own consequences. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for your time. This is Ty from AICodeJournal.com and subscribe to my channel if you're interested in content like this.